Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be a review of a set. I've not done a set review for a long time uh, and normally when I do a set review I do a speed build but I'm going to do a set review of a set that I've already built so I can't do the speed build. So the set I'm going to review for you is the Trafalgar Square set. As you can see I've already built it. It is set number, I can tell you because I've got the box still, is 21045 as you can see the box there. So yeah, I've already built it. I wanted to review it because there are quite a few good techniques in it and I wanted to kind of like go through those techniques. I also wanted to, I suppose, ask a question to my audience really is, there's a particular feature about this build which I'll go into when I get into the review. I want to hear people's views about what it's meant to be achieving, I guess is the word I'd use. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get into the review. I'll get on about those features I've just been talking about and uh, yeah, see what you think. So then guys, this is the review, or my review, of the Trafalgar Square set, the Lego Architect set. As you all know, from if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I do like the Lego Architecture sets. Uh, and I've not done a review of an Architecture set, and I wasn't sure whether I was going to do a review of this one or not, because it's not a new one. But I'd just like to share a couple of things, in terms of, whilst doing this review, a couple of techniques that have been used, which I really, really like. Uh, and also a feature of this particular architecture set which has not been done in any other previous architecture sets that I've seen and I wanted to get your guys views about um, what's the purpose of it I guess do you like it what's the point of it but anyway we'll get to that shortly so first things first um, first thing I will just give you a quick tour of the model so obviously it's it's based on the Trafalgar Square um, site in London so you've got Nelson's Column and you've got the two fountains and then you've got the buildings at the back and then we've got some trees a bus and over here we've got a taxi and another bus and more trees and then we've got some various statues and pieces that are meant, made to represent or meant to represent statues now one technique I want to share with you is how they have done the steps. Now basically these are um, the panel pieces that are laid on the side and they're constructed in such a way that they're layered up. Now they're used for the main steps there and also they're used for the side steps. Now I've not seen that done before in a architecture set and I really do like that technique. It sort of just stands out makes the steps look I suppose more in scale with the model because what you tend to get if you try to use a tile they're a little bit too thick and they kind of they just don't go with the rest of the scale of the the uh, the, the model now when I said um, the panel pieces what I mean is like those panel pieces there if can you, if you can see on the camera uh, and they're basically just turned on their side and constructed in that way to give the steps now the other technique that I really like is how they have gone for the um, the the roof the pitch roof on the architect module and they've just basically used a hinge piece underneath here and you've probably seen that before but i've not seen it being done on an architecture model not as successfully as that anyway and i think it really does sort of stand out and make the roof sort of pop out a little bit now the interesting feature though the feature that i've um said uh, right at the beginning of this and that i want you guys to uh to to sort of have a look at and give me your views on it so i'm going to turn this model around now and at the back of here, you'll see we have three pieces sort of stuck out here. Now the interesting thing about this is A, why, and B, why hide what's inside it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull each of these out. Now they're designed that you can just pull them out. And they're just, a, as you can see, just a little, I suppose, a cover really. Uh, and I'll pull all three out so you can see. And as you can see inside, I don't know if you can see inside there or not, there are actually tile pieces with pictures on and almost like a little mini scene inside, a little statue there. Now, I suppose my comment is and my point I'm trying to make is, is really what's the concept, what's the idea behind it? Because if you have the covers on, obviously, if I just pop this one back here, if I can do it with one hand, you can't see anything if you have the pieces off then obviously you've got pieces floating around what do you do with those and are you meant to display this with the pieces off or the pieces on so 
as I say, I've not seen this done before in any of the architecture sets, uh, and whether it's something they're just trying new or whether it's just something they've tried just for this model. But if you guys can, I don't know, leave a comment below and let me know, yeah, I suppose, A, your views in terms of why you think they've done it. You know, do you like it? Do you not like it? And B, if you've got any insight into why LEGO have kind of like taken this approach to do this for this particular set, then that would be really useful. I'd really like to know that. Anyway, guys, that is it. I'll just move those pieces out of the way. I'll flip this back round again so you can see the front. But um, all in all, I really like the set. It goes quite nicely with the Buckingham Palace set. So they'll go quite nicely next to each other. As I say, there's some nice techniques in this set. Definitely worth a buy if you're into the architecture sets. Um, so, yeah, that's it, guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like my channel, then as usual, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all soon for another video very soon. Did I say very soon? I did say very soon. <laughs> anyway, guys, cheers. Bye.